See these two jars? They're really about the same, other than this is a regular mouth and this is a large mouth. But they don't look the same, do they? I mean this, nice and clear. This one, pretty cloudy. I would tell somebody, I guess it's frosted glass, but it's not. So today's canning fact, we're gonna talk about what makes jars cloudy. Is it harmful? What can you do to prevent it? And if it happens, what can you do to clean your jars and have them look again like this? Hey, Resilient Citizens, this is another Canning Fact video. Please subscribe so you can receive more videos like this and hit that little bell icon so you receive notifications every time I post a video. And if you're interested in more Canning Fact videos, there's a link up here to it and a link in the description below this video. So if you live uh, in an area and you have municipal water, you may not have a problem ever with cloudy jars. But if you're like me and your water comes from a well, you can have a problem because it's minerals in that water that can cause that cloudiness and that white dusty film on your jars after you get done canning. I try to get our well tested every year and here's an old well test that I found and I thought I'd share it with you. My hardiness level was 272 which is not good. Uh, moderate hard is between 120 and 180 and more than 180 is very hard. So we have very hard water. But I have to say I think it tastes great. Can't stand city water because I swear I can test taste that uh, bleach flavor in it. I love my well water, but it does end up clogging up uh, our faucets and things with lime deposits and other problems and can cause cloudy jars when canning. So people ask, is it harmful to have this happen? No, this only happens to the outside of your jar. So if you're gonna give this as a gift, you know, it just doesn't look that nice. But some people just, they're only keeping them on their own shelves. They really don't care. All their jars look like this. But it does make it a little bit hard to see in the jar and see what's going on. But it is not harmful. So you might say, are all your, my jars cloudy? Well, no, I take preventive measures. But occasionally I forget. And that's when a jar turns out like this. What do I do? Well, I always try to add a couple tablespoons of white vinegar into my canning water. And that means my jars come out sparkling clean. But we're gonna do some experiments on what you can do to have this jar end up looking like this jar. You know, what can you do to clean them? So first, let's see what happens if we just put some vinegar on a cloth. So good, good. And then take that and just go over this area. Well, it looks like it's clearing it up well, doesn't it? There we go. Pretty good. Let's let it dry and see if that works. Well, it did help. Not completely though. But it does make it look better. So what about trying a dishwasher? Put this in here, same cloudy jar. I made sure there was enough rinse aid in it, which is supposed to, right, when you use your dishwasher, prevent spotting. So let's see if this works and we'll get a sparkling jar. I have an extra shine setting right here. I'm gonna try that setting. We'll see. So let's open our dishwasher. Let's see what we got. Oh, not good. It is still really cloudy. So let's try one more thing. So according to the National Center for Home Food Preservation, we can remove scale or hard water film by soaking jars several hours in a solution containing one cup of vinegar with 5% acidity per gallon of water. So I'm putting in my four quarts of water. cup of white vinegar 
And now I'm going to put in my jar. Immerse it. There we have it's completely immersed in the water. And we'll wait three hours and see what happens. Okay, the timer went off for three hours. Let's look. Wow, it's looking pretty good. Let's let it dry first and see. Okay, so this is the one that's sparkling clean. This is the one we just put in the vinegar water and it does seem to have worked. So, yep, I would say that method works. So there you have it. Now you know all about what causes cloudiness of jars, how to prevent it from happening, and if you're like me and occasionally forget to put that vinegar in your water, what can you do to make your jars again look sparkling clean? I hope you enjoyed this canning fact video and will check out my other canning fact videos and all of my canning videos. As always, happy canning and please subscribe to share the knowledge. Thank you.